They say don't talk race, religion, and politics. Shit. At Circle 7 Media, we talk race, religion, and politics. Affairs of Ben. This the CNN of hip hop, where we talk politics, news, and all things that are relevant to young black hip hop America. Battle Rap 7. Where is the post game talk show on caffeine? where you can call in and discuss the rap battle you just seen. Both shows air exclusively on Caffeine at 7 p.m. every night. That's every night, Pacific Standard Time. Thank you for calling Circle 7 Media. What's your name and where you from? Oh, what up, man? Chris, somebody checking back in, man. Back with the blog, man. We got New Jersey Twerk versus Loso, man. Shout out to URL, man. Shout out. The battles are on the app, man. Get the URL app if you don't have the app, man. It's only $8, man. You can't go to no fast food restaurant and get any meal for damn near less than $8 now. So it's on the URL app for $8, man. Always support black-owned business. So I just want to definitely put that out there. Um, As far as this battle, man, y'all niggas lied to me, bruh. Y'all niggas told me that Loso got killed. That's all I heard is Loso died, Loso got killed, all this stuff. You have to factor in star power when you look at a lot of battles. So all you people that's going to Summer Madness 11, and when you watch John John versus, versus Surf, Surf has amazing star power. So if the crowds are going crazy in round one for Surf, is Surf really going off? Or are you so happy to be getting a focused surf that everything he say you're mesmerized by? You got to decipher between what's really dope and what's really somewhat gas. And what's really dope and what's really somewhat ODing. There's a little bit of that when you when you battle star power people. Especially star power people if they haven't been performing well. It's like, oh, surf ain't come to play. And now everything he say, you hang it on. You hang it on to every word he say. I felt like Loso had a very uphill battle battling Twerk, bro. A very uphill battle. Um, I want to give Twerk credit because he went on Twitter and he said Anwar was a big reason to get him back refocused in battle rap. And I know we take a lot of shots at Anwar, you know what I'm saying? I don't know Anwar personally, met him at an event or whatever. But I do want to say if that is what, because he's Twerk's manager. So if that is what got Twerk to be more focused maybe after the Casey battle, you got to salute that. I don't have no problem with that at all. Whatever it takes to get you to be the best that you can be, whether it be someone you look look up to, your manager, someone that you trust, whatever the case may be, salute to them for that. So he went on Twitter, gave Anwar his credit, so we want to salute that. This first round, I felt like he had a great first round. I want to put it out there. He did have a great first round, but it was like the dude could do no wrong in this first round. The very first bar of this battle the very first bar it wasn't crazy 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 but they was old then and right then i knew it was gonna be a long day for low soul my nigga you gonna get up here and instead of giving god glory you're gonna try to tell my story tell these people all my sins and turn around and ask what would jesus do die for it slide on it He had a Wanda Sykes bar, man, with this Wanda Psych. Ain't nothing funny about that. It was pretty cool, man. You know what I'm saying? I didn't quite understand the Wanda reference. Like, I know her name was Wanda Sykes, but I'm saying, like, it was like with this gun, you Wanda. And I was like, how do you Wanda gun? But niggas was saying that that was a playoff something Loso did in a 40 bars battle. I haven't watched the 40 bars battle on camera, so I don't quite know the Wanda reference. But I give it the benefit of the doubt. If that's what niggas is saying, I give it the benefit of the doubt. Uh, he had a speaking in tongues bar. I thought that was pretty cool the way he did a little, you know, the little big T sound effects and that. I like that. But twerk, you did a cheat move, my nigga. You did a cheat move versus Loso, man. When you was pushing Loso, you knew you was in the South. You know what I'm saying? You knew niggas ain't been out in a minute. You knew niggas was going to be riled up. You knew it was going to be URL's return to the crowds. You knew you was going to be in a street envelope. Street? Street envelope. You knew you was going to be in a street environment. You a buster Christian. You a sucker Christian. You a don't do nothing when I touch you Christian. 
that was pretty dope on your part as far as like turning the tide, letting Loso know you ain't coming to play. And it was a good way to get the crowd on your side. You know what I'm saying? A good way to get the crowd on your side. Loso just standing there like this. You's a sucker, Christian. A buster, Christian. And don't do nothing if I touch you, Christian. Bitch. The funny part about that is this nigga Award said never, never. My nigga, he had already done it, A-Ward. I don't know what you saying never for. The nigga had already pushed low, so you was too late. You was a sucker, Christian. A buster, Christian. And don't do nothing if I touch you, Christian. Shout out to A-Ward, man. He be having Loso back, man. I ain't mad at that, man. He be having Loso back. But that jump was hilarious, bro. And the strap in, you know, of course, I walk by faith, but sometimes I drive by it was fire. I did feel like Twerk had a great first round, man. I think he showed you all the elements that he's capable of doing. Loso first round, he, um, he somewhat talked about the strapping. He says, I'm strapped in, madness. Let me breathe, cuz. If it was madness, then why can y'all finish his lines better than he does? That was a dope bar. That was a dope bar, cuz that's pretty much the case. Niggas do be, <laughs> niggas basically saying that niggas finish your lines better than you do because you choke so much. He had some jerks flips, like jerks this, and you know, you don't do this jerks and jerk. Like, he had some jerks. I gotta keep it a buck. Them shits was not hitting. They were not hitting that much to me. I felt like it could have been a little bit better. Or maybe they could have just not been done at all. I felt like that was a, uh, that was not the strong part of his round for me. They not shocked when I start cooking. They know that's what I'm supposed to do. You get praise if you just finish a round and don't start choking, dude. In other words, it's reversible the way we both approve. Because there's a difference when low so set a ball. Because the ball set so low for you. Who's close? Because it's a difference when low so set a bar because the bar is set so low for you. I like that. Also playing off the fact that you a disappointment, my nigga. You don't be finishing rounds. You'll be finishing your bars. But they set the bar so low for you. Niggas don't even care if you finish your bar. I definitely like that from Loso. He had a pinpoint disappointment kind of bar. A little, 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 little bit of wordplay, Loso. A little bit of wordplay, my nigga. I was rocking with that. And he also talked about... uh Twerk pillow talking, man, saying he smashed coffee. Twerk, my nigga, you smashed coffee, bro. Hold up. My nigga, you smashed coffee? Bro, I ain't mad, bro. I ain't mad at all, Twerk. I am not mad at all if you actually smash coffee. I don't even know how that's, I mean, I don't even know how that's a down point of the round, low. So I keep it real with you. If you smash coffee, ain't no wrong with smashing coffee. I mean, that's like, that's like Danny Myers saying, my nigga, you trying to holler at my verse. You trying to fuck my verse. That's what he told, uh, Danny Myers told Hollow. I'm thinking, how was that bad? How was that a bad bar? I don't know. Y'all niggas tripping, man. This first round I gave to New Jersey Twerk. If I wrote the bars down on paper, I could say Loso and Twerk were pretty even lyrically. But I do give credit to being able to control the room. I do give credit able to rock out a crowd. That means something in battle rap. Loso wanted twerk in this environment right here. So you have to deal with all the elements of this environment. You have to deal with new era versus Loso. Because even though Loso is kind of new in battle rap, he's not really considered new era. We talked about that. You have to deal with being close to the DMV. You have to deal with Twerk's return. You got to deal with all of that. But you wanted Twerk in this environment. And for me, being able to battle him on a stage in front of 500 to 1,000, that's how I like battling my opponents. I'm like, okay, cool. Where they where they best at? Because I feel like if I was to battle Twerk inside a caffeine setting, me personally, I just feel like I would have the upper hand. But the fact that we on a stage, I'm like, yo, this is where he's most dangerous at. That's where I want him at. And you got twerk in this environment. So at the end of the day, lyrically, I can say they were even to me in this first round. But stage presence, performance, sucking the energy out of the room means something. So do I feel like this round is close? No, I don't feel like Loso got killed at all in this first round. However, I got twerk went in round one another mistake i think loso made in this battle he wins the coin toss this is very important man he wins the coin toss and elects to go second i feel like somebody like twerk when i feel like twerk chokes or not prepared i don't think it's because like he just didn't write any material i don't really feel like that to me 
it's an anxiety thing. It's a pressure thing. It's one of those, you know, I got the weight on the weight of the world on my shoulders. When you got a battler like that, you got to make them fight back because it puts more pressure on them. So I felt like the mistake Loso made, he should have took the room first. Loso had a great first round. If you go first, you put all this pressure on Twerk to fight back. You might even have niggas in the crowd fight back, Twerk. You know what I'm saying? You know how niggas be saying all that. Now, Twerk not only has to, you know, go through his material flawlessly, he has to realize Loso put a lot of pressure on me. So now I got to get through my stuff to try to match Loso and surpass it. And then every round, Loso would have been putting a pressure on Twerk. A person like Twerk, who I feel deals with anxiety, I feel like that's the pressure you need on him. You win the coin toss. You let him go first. There's no pressure because you haven't rapped yet. So he don't even know how good your material is. I mean, he's just probably assuming it's good because you can't, you normally come prepared. Twerk has really no pressure in the beginning or not as much pressure in my opinion. Once he electrifies the room, now he didn't got comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It's little things like that I feel like mean a lot in a battle. Loso won the coin toss. He definitely, in a, in a in situation like this, Raleigh, North Carolina, not too far from the DMV area, a lot of new era niggas, Lou Castro going crazy, all these new era niggas going crazy. You got to suck that away. You and A-War, y'all seem like y'all in the lion's den, niggas against y'all or whatever. You got to come in there and put all the pressure on twerk first. You do that by winning the coin toss and going first. That's what I feel like mistake that, uh, you know, that Loso made in this battle. Uh, Twerk's second round, he rebuttaled the coffee, man. You know what I'm saying? And it put you and coffee in a different kind of box. It was cool. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? It, it was cool. I'll leave it at that, man. Uh, the Pursuit of Happiness bar, I like that. You know what I'm saying? When you on this stage, just raise heaters. When you go to church, just praise Jesus, depending on who you rapping with. Then you come over here, you got guns, you be shooting ladders quick. Yeah. Then you go to church and raise the dead like you would do the Lazarus. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you, you disgrace God, because when you use this ratchet shit, there's no room for the father and son like the pursuit of happiness. I really like the 21 Jump Street bar when he was like, Shree Hems ain't going to do nothing. He don't want to mess with me because I'm going to have 21, 21 niggas Jump Street. <sighs> We all know 21 Drunk Street was a was a show, you know, different little, different little stuff. With, but I like that bar a lot, man. You gonna tell me no weapon form against me shall prosper, man, please. If I pull out this 40 horses running, it'll be a stampede. Like that too. The second strapped in he had, it was a drop off from the first one. You know what I'm saying? And it, it reminds me of a time I saw Verb do, uh, he did like two showtimes. I ain't talking about the Cortez battle because he, he did like three showtimes. But, in the in maybe the first round of course he went crazy in, the, in Cortez but there was there was another battle where he did two showtimes uh Averb did I don't know really what battle it was it could have been a surf battle or something he did two showtimes and I felt like he put so much into the first one that the second one just didn't hit that well for for Verb this was the same thing I felt like Twerk's second strapped in not nearly as good as his first man but, of course, it got a crowd reaction because that's what niggas do. I think he said something about the deacon, you know, burn the house down or something. It, it was all right, man. Uh, what else did he have, man? The horsemen are chasing me. I got a coat following. I like that a lot. I take your life if you try to twerk. The four horsemen jump in, his horse, his horse is right in my mom's church. This nigga ain't going to try me. I'm going to grab the pipe and the nine burst. You know how this four brothers shit go. The white one die first. <laughs> The white boy gotta die first. We all saw the movie Four Brothers. We always saw the movie Four Brothers. No, the white boy died first. I like that twerk. I like that twerk. Twerk had a solid second round, man. He had a good second. Not, not even solid. He had a good second round, man, from New Jersey Twerk. Loso second round, man. He started talking about, uh, now you had a lot of talk about the, the, the blood stuff and, and the pyro stuff and how, you know, you was a Christian, but now you're, 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 
a game member kind of kind of thing. You a mess. Every time you bounce, I think of your whole life how you jumped around undercover. You a Christian that turned hypocrite. Your family isn't proud of you, brother, because you got older, met your idols, and then you started bowing to others. You a sucker. That bar was fire because the way he acted it out was like you started bowing to others. Like one, you was bowing to these niggas who are gang members, Pyru, whatever, and you started bowing in your raps. I like that. The PSD bar, that was crazy. That was crazy because in the first round, what did Twerk say during the strap in? He said, I was, I walk, of course I walk by faith, but sometimes I drive by too. And the way he spun it, Loso kind of like, rebuttal not really rebuttals it but he kind of say like oh you like the you like the the you speed and you like the drive through or whatever and he was like trying to say don't you have psd because of that basically playing off the car wreck the twerk was in i like that i like that after that though most of the round was kind of blah man i gotta keep it real with you it wasn't that he didn't have no bars he had uncle luke bar you know what i'm saying he had strippers doing twerks return you know talking about you know they hold up the car but they don't really say nothing he had some stuff but i didn't think it was better than twerks they sleep man. so i got twerk one in the second round The third round, Twerk was talking about A War right for Low Soul. You know, saying I was supposed to battle Low Soul, so it's no surprise if he wrote for you. He talked about the Pyru stuff that Low Soul had just talked about in the first round, saying, "Of course, you know, why are you mad about me being Pyru? Even even Jesus turned water into blood, but he was basically saying water into wine. It was cool. I told you back then, Smack had to pay me racks. Ain't no talking me down. You've been sinning since the beginning. Every commandment starts with a thou." That was a fire bar. He was trying to say that you was trying to get me to battle you on bullpen for only a hundred, you know, a few hundred dollars. But Loso had to, I mean, not Loso, Smack had to pay me racks. And uh, that's what he said. Smack had to pay me racks. You've been sinning since the beginning. Every commandment begins with a thou. That was fire. That was actually fire. I can't come out. Because this the same nigga called me like, John John only trying to give me 400 and take 20%. Look how you talk to me now. I told you back then, Smack had to pay me rights. It ain't no talking me down. You've been sitting since the beginning. Even every commandment start with a thou. I'm walking them down. I mean, this round, he had like mic issues in this round. He was fixing his mic a lot. He told Beasley to shut up, which I thought was hilarious. And um, that was pretty much it around. I guess maybe the mic issue caused him to jersey early. I don't really know, but he jersey quick as hell in this round. This was the shortest round of the battle. Loso talked about, uh, Loso third round was basically about the if factor. Like, well, I've heard niggas say you got the it factor, but what about having the if factor? If Twerk does this, you will win. If Twerk comes with three rounds, you will win. I like that. There was some parts where he was getting zero reactions, bruh. He got a stomach your behavior bar. You know what I'm saying? Talking about uh, he was playing off the JC battle when the small intestines, you know, and now, you know, we can't even stomach your behavior. Bro, it was crickets after that bar for Loso. And I actually thought it was a pretty nice bar. And jumping out the gate. Oh, this gonna cut him like it's Vega. You used to tussle with the greatest, doing customers a favor. But it comes full circle when you're in touch with the creator because you started the bowel movements, threatening anyone's small intestine, and now they can't stomach your behavior. It's major. <laughs> Major, stop hating. He's major, believe it, bro. You you uh being a purse snatcher just shows how mad you need a coach. He's major, believe it, bro. You being a purse snatcher just shows how bad you need a coach. That was fire. He was basically talking about how he don't come prepared to battle, so you need someone to coach you, but you a purse snatcher, so of course you need a coach. Coach purse, da 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 da. Um, he didn't, he wasn't getting no reaction this round, bro. He had a Heimlich maneuver bar, no reaction. He didn't get another reaction until he said the sweet 16 bar. But that was pretty much the battle, man. I got Loso winning the third. You get a, a good lesson to see how much that crowd in Raleigh, North Carolina was not rocking with what you were saying. And it wasn't your fault. You know what I'm saying? I felt like you came with three good rounds. Niggas just wasn't rocking with it. And it's sad to see that because I, I know how it probably, when you going through that, it probably just be like, man, I just want to get rid of it. I just want to get over this stuff. But I gave Twerk this battle 2-1.